hello guys my name is precious and this is my youtube channel welcome if it's your first time and if it's not your first time welcome back and thank you thank you for coming back first things first before we go further i just want to say thank you for coming back thank you for clicking the video thank you thank you for subscribing for commenting and for liking the videos so yeah i saw so much interaction and so many views on my my blog my busan vlog so i guess you guys you like vlogs more than sit downs but then i can't always travel it takes time and money to travel so while we are here um i'll just do sit downs here and there and see when i can do vlogs but then i don't promise on giving you vlogs every week because i don't travel every week okay so today i'm just going to talk about the things that i dislike about south korea i've been here for like six months and some days or weeks going to seven months but then there are still some things that i can't shake off there are still some things that i can't um be like it's okay i can live with them but then i i don't like them okay so okay sorry about that i had to fix my lighting so the first thing that i don't like that i still dislike in south korea is i made notes here so is the apartment sizes like ever since i got here i've never seen like a big apartment <laughs> okay most of the apartments they are really small the space is just enough for you to to sleep and to have a kitchen like they're just enough for one person like when they say an apartment is for like single person one person they really mean it you'll see it with the space that this apartment is really meant for one person so i just wish maybe they could just improve in the sizing of their apartments because they are they are small mine is not really that small but then i've seen apartments that are really really small the size of what can i say maybe a room address like university rates so if they can just do something about that i don't know and it's not just a matter of apartments even on the street like in south south korea there is no space you can see even when you are walking especially uh, in residential areas you see that cars park like where cars should be driving then you'll see cars parked there sometimes as a person you don't even know where to walk because where you're supposed to walk they are they are cars so it's just something that i still dislike so much and before going forward i got ghosted in south korea but we'll get to that it's okay breathe in and breathe out we'll get to that why i got ghosted and how did i get ghosted okay the why i don't know because up to this day the person hasn't come back to me to tell me well, like girl this is the reason why i ghosted you it's okay we move all right so the second thing is lack of rubbish bins you know in south korea you buy juice ice cream or something to walk like you know when you're walking and you want to drink something and you won't see any rubbish bin anywhere or rubbish can anywhere on the street i'm not even exaggerating you won't see any rubbish bin on the street so which whatever that you bought a chocolate or whatever chocolate paper or plastic cup whatever you have to carry it home or maybe if you walk into um a bathroom somewhere on the road that's where you'll get like a rubbish can you know so i'm just like you guys are pushing so much for like a clean country and everything but you don't have enough rubbish cans on the streets how are we where are we supposed to dispose like 
rubbish where are we supposed to dispose like papers and stuff but apparently in south korea it's not a thing to to eat and drink while walking the thing of buying a drink and drinking it while you are on the go is not a thing eating ice cream while you are on the go is not a thing so you should buy your thing sit down in the shop drink it finish it and dispose um the litter in the shop so i'm like but then it doesn't make sense because if i go out when i come back my bag is just full of papers it's either it slips um chocolate covers or something like it's just full of litter and i just don't get it why and they don't see a problem with it because you'll see some places where um some apartments don't have like rubbish bins where like everyone can throw in their stuff you'll just see plastics like rubbish plastics um refuse plastics piled up in one corner and it looks so untidy because you guys are pushing for a clean country but then you don't provide you don't provide the things to dispose to dispose rubbish properly so it really doesn't make sense and another thing that i still don't like so the video is not going to be too long i just wanted to come and offload okay because i've been seeing things and i don't like the things that i'm seeing so i'm just like let me just come here and share with you guys so another thing that i dislike the third thing that i dislike is spitting i can't speak enough about spitting why are you guys spitting like why are you guys spitting a person will be walking just walking out of the blue you just hear it's when you hear pa on the pavement and guys yo i just can't stand that whenever i see a guy smoking or a group of guys smoking i just change direction because i know that i'm gonna see them spitting and the funny part is that they'll be standing in a group maybe it's like three or four guys smoking they'll be spitting in front of them there where they are smoking and they'll continue smoking as if there's nothing wrong that someone just spat in front of them they'll just continue smoking i'm like i can't stand that and i've learned that when i'm in korea i don't walk facing down i don't face down not not even by mistake because i know should i face down i'm gonna see stuff that i don't want to see so always my head is up looking forward i don't face down for anything because i know that i'll be seeing disgusting things that will ruin my entire day so now let's get to the juicy part I got ghosted. <laughs> oh. Okay. And I got, I got ghosted by a lady. A South African lady at that. <laughs> okay, this is what happened. It makes me sad whenever I think about it. Because I still see the person around me. We stay in the same neighborhood, but then yeah, she she ghosted me. I don't know why. So what happened is that um, I think it was in March or Feb. I was still fixing my my bank things. So on that day, I went to the bank to change um, the number that I registered with at the bank because when i opened my account i used my my boss's number because i didn't have a sim card then so i went there to change to my number after i got my south korean number you know so when i get there okay i'm still waiting on the on the queue sitting down on the couches and stuff so while i'm sitting there i see as um an indian lady coming in okay i'm like okay she looks like um south african indian okay cool i sit down she also sits on the opposite side then what she does is i just waved she also waved back i'm like 
okay good i continued playing on my phone busy browsing and doing my stuff on the phone while waiting for my turn to come so she comes to my side right she comes to my side where i am sitting ah then we start talking there what's your name i tell her my name where are you from okay she confirms that she's from she's from south africa and she just came i think it was a month ago or three weeks ago she's still very new here she doesn't know much i'm like i've been here for like two months or so so i know a bit of the area where we are at maybe i can help you sometimes if you need help and since i also don't have many friends and she also said she doesn't have friends she only has a cousin who lives like in a different city so i'm like maybe sometimes we can hang out she agreed she agreed she said yes we can hang out plus we don't live like far from each other we literally live i think two blocks or something like that because i come across her a lot on the streets i still come across her that's why i'm so hurt because i see her and i can ask her why she ghosted me okay cool then we exchange instagram things right everything as well i get help she also get helped i leave then later that night she texts me on instagram she dms me like girl i'm that girl you met at the bank in the morning how are you how was your day in chan chan and we talk blah 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 you know this case and don't 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 we complain about work like yeah we just complain about stuff and then now i she i love watching k dramas she also happens to love k drama she asked me do you like k drama i'm like yes i love k drama which one are you watching right now i tell her she tells me like we share you know a list we share a list or after watching this one watch this one i also watch this one it's so nice blah 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 cool after <laughs> then we we're like um when you are free let's go to a cafe she's the one who says that let's go to a cafe just to chill and to recreate like the cafe moments that we see in k dramas take cute pictures you know videos and everything in the cafes because cafes in korea they are really pretty they put in a lot of effort in their cafes um, compared to their restaurants that's another thing that i don't like because most restaurants look like it's giving it's giving to it's giving kwa bossman is giving marabastad but then their cafes top notch their cafes are so beautiful okay cool we planned that right it was on thursday we met on wednesday thursday we planned that we're gonna go to a cafe friday i text her girl how are you in the morning enjoy your day at work blah 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 she responds she's like okay thank you so much enjoy your day too and can we go to the cafe no i asked that can we go to the cafe tomorrow she's like no we can't go tomorrow because i haven't been paid so i will go when i get paid well as i'm like okay cool ah the first weekend passes on that saturday i text her i'm like are you still good she's like yes i'm okay i'm just um staying at home i'm not doing anything this weekend i'm like same yeah it's fine the weekend passes then later this the following week i text her just to check up on her not like to go out or anything i'm um, like have a nice day at work and dun, 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 dun. okay cool that i text her she doesn't respond i'm like ah, maybe she's busy and stuff and it's okay time passes time passes i think two weeks passed then i asked i asked her i'm like i think by now maybe she got paid i just thought in my head like girl just text me when you want us to go out on that cafe date she didn't respond doesn't respond the girl doesn't respond the girl doesn't respond she keeps quiet and time passes right like she doesn't respond but she's posting stories i like her stories and everything 
i post stories she doesn't like them she doesn't say anything then this other day i asked uh, i text them like girl are you okay are you still fine okay she she doesn't respond still but she's still posting stories and everything then ah uh, that's when i got the message that this person is no longer about me up to this day i don't know what i did wrong maybe you guys can tell me <laughs> maybe you guys can tell me what i did wrong because it's not like i was texting this person every day it's not like i was asking for anything from her i was just doing follow-ups on what she suggested she's the one who suggested that we should go out we should hang out sometimes when we are not busy and i agreed so i was just doing follow-ups on what she asked from me so i don't think um i'm the one in this acrimony i'm the wrong one in this acrimony honestly so yeah time passed i didn't um unfollow her on instagram i see her she's posting at work her stories and everything she's going out to cafes and stuff the cafes that i suggested because i even sent her like links to cafes she went to all the cafes that i suggested around our area it's fine then i felt like okay this hurts me seeing her doing things and she's not even talking to me it hurts so we are not even talking it's like we are stalking each other she doesn't even like my stories or my posts i'm the one who is like now we are just watching each other on instagram so i decided to unfollow her and then this other day i was going shopping to buy groceries then i came across her at the grocery store did the girl not greet me as if there's nothing wrong she was like hey precious how are you i like your jeans what what how have you been don't tell me then i'm like yo <laughs> what's this now so i didn't want to be the drama over so i didn't want to cause drama so i just responded in a positive way and i've been good thank you and stuff then i left so i keep coming across her and when we come across each other it's just hello bye we don't really have a conversation but then i'm still asking myself up to this day that what did i do to her like what did she hear about me is it a race thing because she's indian i'm black is it a race thing what did she hear about me what did she see on insta on my instagram that put her off like what happened so another thing that i don't like about south korea is that you'll get ghosted and for me i didn't get ghosted by a korean person or another foreigner i got ghosted by a south african person someone that i thought maybe will form a friendship if not like a serious friendship we'll just be like yeah we'll just know each other hang out sometimes and and i had so much hope in that friendship one thing about me i love making friends and this i got burned i got hurt and it still hurts when i see her on the street because sometimes when i come back from work she's also coming back from her workplace so we'll see each other most writing more and she, what i don't like is that she always looks so friendly hi precious nice to see you how, how are you doing how is work and i'm just like ma'am you ghosted me <laughs> you ghosted me so guys in south korea don't don't go into deep like be small small and just see how things go so yeah those are just some of the things that i dislike about south korea and a bit of a story time it's my first time doing something like this like a mini story time i yeah i don't know about how i feel about story times but then we'll be fine we are still figuring this youtube thing out we'll see what works out and what doesn't work out guys thank you so much for watching i have to rush to work now i have to go to work i'll see you some other time maybe with a vlog because i'm traveling this weekend i'm still deciding if i'm going to vlog or not 
see you thank you for liking subscribing and commenting don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe and to tell their friends to subscribe their mothers their fathers everyone to subscribe to my channel bye